Hello friends, in this video we will try to discuss a concept called arrays in Scala. So first of all we will try to see what is the definition of arrays. Array is nothing but a data structure which can store fixed size sequential elements of same data type. Okay, so we will try to see that into practically. So right now we are in IntelliJ IDE. Let's create an object. So array in scalar. So array is a data structure. which can store fixed size sequential elements of same data type so here the important factor is we need to remedy call fixed size sequential elements of same data type fixed size and same data type is a important point to be noted for arrays so we'll try to see that into practical now so let's define the main method I have string so we we'll define the main method now we will try to declare an array array one let's say Let's take an integer data type. Now let's initialize an array. Array of integer. Let's say the size will try to take 5. Now we will try to assign the values for the array. Let's say array's index position starts with 0. Let's assign 10 for the 0th position at the same way so first position number 1 2 3 4 5 now let's assign values 20 30, let's say 40, let's say 50. Okay, so so index position starts with 0, hence it will be till the till it is 4. Okay. Now let's say for example array length is used. I want to know what is the length of the array. So in this case, we do have a built-in function called length. So now we'll try to run and see. So length array size is 5. Okay. Now what if, if I want to display the elements of an array? Array of 1. So now we try to see whether this is going to fetch values or not. See it's written the object value. So it's not returning the values. So in this case how to print the elements in an array. So we will use the for loop. So using loop we can able to display the elements array elements so array 1 now let's do print ln of y now we will try to run and see see it's written all the elements in the array now okay so this is the by using for loop we can able to display it now we will try to take another way of declaration for the array let's say array 2 
Hello, new array of let's say integer type. So we will try to take here length is six. Now let's try to change here array one to array two. Now we will try to run and see what we are going to get the output we will try to see. So here we are not declaring, we are not assigning any elements or values for the array 2. See this has taken by default for integer type zeros has written. Okay. Now what if, if I want to keep double. Now we'll try to run and see what it is going to fetch the default value for the double. So for the default value for the double is 0, 0.0. Let's say we'll check for the string. See for the string it is taking nulls. Okay. What if if it is boolean so that should fetch whether it is true or false so by default it will be false okay for boolean data type okay so <coughs> now we have seen for the default data type for the fixed length array what it is going to be written for the default and for the given array how to print the elements now we will try to see an another scenario so let's say for example if i want to i would like to declare another array let's say array 3 equal to array of let's say 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 10 okay I have taken some sample array 3 now I would like to do the concatenation of these two so in that case how do I concat let's say I want to concat array 1 and array 3 so how can I do that so we'll try to see that it now now let's say val out equal to okay let's say we do have a built-in function called concat concat of let's say what are the two arrays that we want to do the concat let's say array 1 comma array 3 okay now here let's import array okay now we will try to run and see okay so let's do the cut and let's try to paste it here and then we'll try to put out here now we'll try to run and see now let's comment this for timing now let's comment this for timing and then we'll try to run and see See, 10 to 50 holds array 1 and array 3 holds 1 to 10 elements. See, it has displayed the both the elements. We can able to achieve that by using the concat method. So, this is the way of declaration when we want to do the concatenation for the two different type arrays. Okay. So, 
that's all for today's guys so today we have seen the way of declaration of array different ways as well as assignment of elements as well as how to do the concatenation and how to do the elements of the array okay that's all for today's guys if you really like this video please do subscribe like it and share it and please do the comment